Three, IATLAS isn't just passing through our solar system, it's actively growing. This astonishing new data from the James Webb Space Telescope has been sending shockwaves through the scientific community. This interstellar visitor's unexpected expansion has caught the attention of not just astronomers, but military officials worldwide. As 3i Atlas continues its approach toward Mars, questions swirl about its true nature. Is this merely an extraordinary natural phenomenon or something that demands more drastic measures? A visitor that defies all logic. 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever spotted from Earth, has just revealed itself in fresh images that have turned scientific understanding on its head. When astronomers swung Chile's powerful Gemini South telescope toward this cosmic drifter in late August, they expected the astronomical equivalent of a predictable postcard. What they got instead was like opening a letter bomb. The comet's tail had undergone a metamorphosis that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. What once resembled a fuzzy cotton ball had transformed into something almost weapon-like. A luminous spear cutting through the darkness of space with laser-like precision. The press release blandly called it significantly more extended in what might be the scientific understatement of the century. This wasn't just another cosmic dust bunny. The tail wasn't behaving like the disheveled, wind-blown wisps we've seen on thousands of comets. Instead, it extended with what looked like architectural precision, as if following a blueprint rather than the chaotic laws of physics. Most unsettling of all, this eerily perfect tail pointed directly along a trajectory that would bring it unnervingly close to the red planet, Mars. Garden variety comets don't behave this way. Their tails form when the sun's heat bakes their frozen surfaces, transforming ice directly into gas in a process that releases streams of vapor and dust. Solar winds then push this material outward, creating a glowing halo and a trailing tail. These tails are cosmic fingerprints of chaos. They twist, kink, and scatter based on solar tantrums and space weather. 3i Atlas, however, seems to be playing by different rules entirely. Its tail stands out like a neon sign against the blackness. Broad, razor-edged, and disturbingly symmetrical. Rather than puffing out random jets like a leaky balloon, it stretches with the deliberate extension of something more akin to rocket exhaust, growing stage by stage as if carefully measured. Impossible physics. The plot thickened when NASA's James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward Atlas. Webb's sophisticated instruments picked up something mind-boggling, a massive plume of carbon dioxide surrounding the comet that stretched a jaw-dropping 350,000 kilometers. For perspective, you could fit the Earth and Moon within this cloud with room to spare. Yet even as astronomers marveled at its size, they found themselves scratching their heads at its behavior. According to every textbook model, the pressure from solar winds should have squashed this plume like a cosmic pancake long before it reached such dimensions. Instead, the gas expanded well beyond predicted boundaries, while simultaneously falling short by two orders of magnitude of what would be needed to extend all the way to Mars. It's like finding a puddle that's somehow both impossibly large, yet too small to explain the flood damage. The carbon dioxide plume exists in a scientific twilight zone, too enormous to be normal, yet too constrained to explain what might happen during the upcoming Mars encounter. Here's where things get truly weird. When comets belch out gas like this, Newton's laws of motion dictate they should wobble and drift erratically, like a balloon zipping chaotically around a room as air escapes. Picture trying to hold a fire hose at full blast, the backward force pushes you around unpredictably. Yet 3i Atlas cuts through space like it's on rails, maintaining a trajectory so precise it would make NASA navigation engineers weep with envy. The carbon dioxide signature tells a tale of two impossibilities, violent 
explosive activity happening alongside preternatural stability. The comet seems to be thumbing its nose at fundamental physics. It's as if you witnessed a hurricane that somehow left every leaf perfectly still on every tree. The more data astronomers collect, the more three-eye atlas resembles something from science fiction rather than the natural universe we thought we understood. Metal where no metal should be. Just when scientists thought three-eye atlas couldn't get any stranger, spectroscopic analysis delivered a bombshell that sent shockwaves through astronomy departments worldwide. The unusual brightness of the nucleus isn't coming from exotic ices or strange frozen gases as initially suspected. It's reflecting sunlight because its surface contains nickel, and not just trace amounts you might expect from cosmic dust, but concentrations matching industrial-grade alloys, the kind humans engineer for spacecraft, machinery, and metal plating. This is emphatically not the material composition you expect to find on a pristine chunk of ice that's been drifting between stars since time immemorial. In the catalogue of every comet ever studied, not a single one has displayed this kind of metallic signature. It resists corrosion, deflects radiation, and bounces back sunlight like a cosmic mirror, explaining why the nucleus gleams with unnatural brightness. But this same property creates a scientific paradox. A natural comet nucleus under the stress of violent outgassing should behave like a spinning top-losing balance. It should fracture, tumble or wobble as gases escape from random points on its surface. Holds position with the steadiness of something internally reinforced or stabilized. The presence of industrial-grade nickel raises profound questions that make astronomers deeply uncomfortable. Throughout our solar system, or deep within planetary cores, mixed with iron and other elements. Finding it in this form, concentrated on the surface of what appears to be a comet, is like finding a smartphone embedded in a dinosaur fossil. It simply doesn't belong. Shape-shifting size and impossible stability. The nucleus itself, supposedly the frozen heart of this cosmic enigma, refuses to play by the rules. The Hubble Space Telescope initially estimated its dimensions somewhere between 1,000 feet and 3.5 miles across. Ground-based telescopes, however, suggested something dramatically larger, possibly exceeding 12 miles in diameter. This isn't just a minor measurement disagreement. It's as if doctors measured a patient and couldn't agree whether they were 5 feet or 15 feet tall. This kind of fundamental discrepancy simply shouldn't happen with modern astronomical instruments. The contradictions pile up like evidence at a crime scene. If the nucleus were truly just a mile or two wide, it should appear as faint as a ghost behind its glowing shroud. Instead, it punches through the haze with brightness levels that defy its supposed dimensions. If it were genuinely the larger size of 12 miles across, its substantial mass would make it impossible to maintain stability while gases violently escape from its surface. Picture trying to keep a fire-spewing beach ball perfectly still underwater. The physics simply don't compute. With the unwavering steadiness of something with gyroscopic stabilization, these inconsistencies have spawned increasingly exotic theories. Some astronomers have proposed the object might be hollow, explaining how it could appear large, yet maintain stability without the expected mass. Others suggest its shape might be deliberately engineered to confuse our instruments, presenting different profiles depending on the angle of observation. A few have even wondered if what appears to be a single object might actually be multiple structures traveling in perfect formation creating the illusion of a unified body. Whatever the truth, the nucleus continues to mock our understanding of celestial objects. It sits smugly outside all established categories, neither comet, asteroid, nor anything else in our astronomical taxonomy. With each new measurement, it seems to shift and transform, like something intentionally evading classification. A two-path perfect, 
If scientists could dismiss all these anomalies as merely bizarre but natural phenomena, they would, gladly. But what happens next makes that increasingly difficult. On October 3rd, 2025, 3i Atlas will swing past Mars at a distance of 29 million kilometers. To Earth-bound humans, that sounds safely distant. But in the vast emptiness of space, it's threading a cosmic needle with impossible precision. Even more disturbing is the calculated minimum orbit intersection distance. Just 2.7 million kilometers from Mars's orbital path around the Sun. That's a trajectory so mathematically precise, it makes hardened astronomers break out in a cold sweat. Interstellar objects simply shouldn't pass this close to planets through random chance. These cosmic drifters travel for millions of years through the void before gravity catches them like fish in a net, pulling them into our solar system on completely random paths. For one to thread so precisely through our planetary neighborhood defies probability. Imagine throwing a dart from New York and having it land within inches of a specific target in Tokyo. The odds are astronomical. Yet 3i Atlas carves through our solar system with the precision of something following GPS coordinates rather than gravity's mindless pull. The statistical improbability becomes even more striking when you consider just how rare interstellar visitors are. Prior to Atlas, humanity had confirmed only two others, one I Umuamua in 2017 and two I Borisov in 2019. The universe gifted us just two confirmed interstellar objects in all of human history, then suddenly delivered a third that just happens to swing near Mars with surgical precision. The coincidence stretches credibility to the breaking point. This unnerving accuracy has forced some scientists to reluctantly consider whether the trajectory might be deliberately calculated rather than random chance. If something wanted to study Mars while maintaining plausible deniability as a natural object, this flight path represents the perfect compromise, close enough but detailed observation yet not so close as to trigger immediate alarm. The Mars Rendezvous As 3i Atlas approaches its October rendezvous, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter stands ready, its high-resolution imaging science experiment camera poised like a sniper scope. This phenomenal instrument can resolve details as small as a coffee table on the Martian surface, capable of capturing images at 30 centimeters per pixel when aimed at the approaching comet, it could potentially strip away the shroud of dust and gas, revealing the true nature of whatever lurks at the core of this cosmic mystery. Scientists aren't just expecting to photograph another dirty snowball. They're watching for something far more significant, whether the structure of the nucleus displays the telltale irregularities of a natural object or the symmetrical hallmarks of designed architecture the stakes rise even higher in the weeks before closest approach. If 3i Atlas makes even a minute course adjustment, a change of just 10 to 15 kilometers per second, it would shatter the last line of defense for skeptics. Natural outgassing simply cannot produce the kind of precision thrust needed for such maneuvers. Yet calculations show such a modest adjustment would be sufficient to bring Atlas directly into Mars's path. Such a maneuver wouldn't belong to a comet. It would belong to a craft. The speculation has already spawned theories that sound like science fiction, but are being discussed in serious scientific circles. Could the brilliant tale serve as more than just an anomaly, perhaps as camouflage? What if the glowing shroud functions as a cosmic smokescreen an expanding halo specifically designed to conceal smaller objects hidden within its brightness. The dazzling light would effectively blind our telescopes, providing perfect cover for smaller probes to detach and travel undetected. When science fiction meets Washington, 
The strange case of 3 I Atlas has accomplished something previously unthinkable. It's made interstellar objects a topic of conversation in the halls of power. Congresswoman Anna Paula Luna hasn't just taken notice. She's publicly demanded that NASA monitor the object with everything in its arsenal, insisting that both the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and even Jupiter's distant Juno probe keep continuous watch on this cosmic interloper. During a podcast appearance alongside Avi Loeb that rapidly went viral, Luna ventured even further into territory once reserved for late-night radio shows and science fiction conventions. She raised the possibility that the comet might not just deploy probes toward Mars, but potentially toward Earth after completing its swing around the Sun. Her reasoning cut straight to the heart of governmental responsibility. If there exists even the slimmest possibility that this object represents technology rather than nature, the public deserves to know. When elected officials start openly discussing possible extraterrestrial probes on popular podcasts, we've crossed a threshold that would have been unimaginable just a decade ago. If 3i Atlas were truly just another unremarkable space snowball, no Washington power player would risk their reputation by associating themselves with such speculative scenarios. The conversation has exploded beyond scientific and governmental circles, igniting public imagination worldwide. Social media platforms overflow with amateur analyses of the comet's behavior, with hashtags related to 3i Atlas regularly trending globally. Online forums dedicated to tracking the object have sprung up overnight, creating virtual communities where citizen scientists share observations and theories. Some dismiss the wilder speculations as fantasy, while others meticulously catalog each new anomaly that distinguishes Atlas from every previously observed comet. Countdown to Revelation. The cosmic clock ticks relentlessly forward. On October 30th, 2025, the eve of Halloween fittingly enough, 3 I Atlas will make its closest approach to the Sun, potentially growing brighter and more active as solar radiation intensifies. Days later, it will slide past Mars, creating a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle visible from two worlds simultaneously. If it's merely an extraordinarily unusual natural phenomenon, it will provide a treasure trove of scientific data about interstellar objects and their behavior. But if it's something else, if the high-resolution imaging science experiment captures structured geometries, detects unexpected objects, or witnesses deliberate maneuvers, then humanity stands on the precipice of the most profound discovery in our history. The first unambiguous evidence of technology not born of Earth would force us to reimagine our place in the cosmic hierarchy. For now, we can only watch as its tail grows increasingly defined and brilliant against the backdrop of stars. A luminous finger pointing from another stellar neighborhood toward the heart of our planetary system. When the high-resolution imaging science experiment finally turns its unblinking eye toward 3i Atlas on October 3rd, we may finally decode what kind of message this cosmic courier carries. Until that moment of truth, the interstellar visitor continues its unwavering approach, its tail extending like a cosmic question mark, its trajectory locked onto a path of perfect precision, and its true nature still shrouded in mystery. We are left to wonder, are we simply witnessing the passage of an exceptionally strange natural object, or are we tracking something designed, constructed, and dispatched across the void between stars with deliberate purpose? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on 3i Atlas.